Everybody holds harmless the trainer. I think so. I hope so. That's very important. And, um, but they also hold harmless me and the center and the foundation, <laughs> you know. They're going to mess around here. They're going to mess on their nickel, not mine. <laughs> and not yours. And no money back guarantee. No money back guarantee. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to change. I want to take questions before I change the subject because I have two more important subjects I want to discuss. I, I have one thing where I was listening. And, um, let's see. Um, okay. Uh, there are a lot of personal issues that are not causal. Do you remember when you were saying that? Does anyone remember? Yeah, I gave some of you, and by the way, I gave some of you notes to bring up in this meeting. Yeah, um, Anybody got their notes? One was the, the facilitator, why someone who has had a perfectly normal childhood would want to be a facilitator in this. Oh, that's a really big oh one. Oh, my God, because... That's oh, a big one. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 wait, I worry wait, about that one. Wait, 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 he wait, said wait. symptoms. Your adulthood okay. uh, is the symptom, and childhood adolescence is the cause. Okay, childhood adolescence. Yeah, okay. Causal. Yeah, not usually in adolescence, but I did have one person coming through the fifth gate, and it's not common, that actually had... Um, a pretty happy childhood, but very, very significant trauma in adolescence, life-changing trauma. Yeah? We need to clarify something. You said uh, through the interview, fourth gate, fifth gate, and then one, two, three. Was it the That's correct. Oh. Now, one will be kind of trivial. You, you can smile when you do one. It's not like an AA, you know, I swear to God that I'm never going to, you know. I don't understand uh, what you were just saying. The fourth gate, fifth gate, and then one, two, you three. You start with the interview? Right. You go and assign them to do the fourth gate. Interview, yeah, fourth gate. And, and by the way, maybe your interview will be more like a half hour because I've given you a lot of n new notes here today that, that are good stuff to ask them. I don't always remember to do everything, you know. I don't get it right every time. I usually satisfy myself this, this, this fish isn't getting back in the sea. I got, got this fish on the hook, <laughs> and we'll cover it in the fifth gate. Go, go home, pray, <laughs> do your fourth gate. Um, this is a very important subject. Is it an advantage, a disadvantage, or neither if you had a happy childhood yourself and a happy adolescence? If you're going to be a trainer? We're going to find out. I don't want to prejudge it, but I want us to actually look at this issue later when we're all practicing because it'll help me select future groups. I, I just really don't know. I mean, I had a lot of stuff in my childhood, so, you know, I won't say I had a miserable childhood, I didn't, but I had a lot of issues, and then later on, those issues magnified as my personality developed around these faults in my nature and all these buried fears. Everybody has some of it. I had a lot of it. But, but you know, you were saying share your stuff with them because that builds the trust. And yes. if you don't have it and you were complacent, you don't really have a whole lot of stuff to share. Well, this is a, this, this is a backhand you'll have to learn how to run around on your own. Yes. No, <laughs> you'll have to learn how to, you have to tap dance sometimes. Yes. Yeah. say, is it an advantage or disadvantage in having a happy childhood and, and happy a trainer? Yeah. And yeah. yeah. Does it make a trainer, does it make it easier or harder for a trainer to be effective? I, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, know. <laughs> I don't know the answer. Uh, yeah. There are a couple of you that perhaps will find out had have happy childhoods and happy adolescence without much of any issues. And it will be interesting to see um, if that will turn out to be, uh, make you have to work harder uh, or not. I honestly don't know. It doesn't seem like it would matter as much where you've been as where you are now. What keeps coming up for me as you're talking about this, I had a, a writing mentor at one point who said, never let anybody read your work if they're not working on a dream of their own. Because if they're not working on their own dream, they're going to be critical, and they're going to be jealous, and you're not going to get good feedback. And that just kept coming up twice as, as you were talking about this. So I'm thinking, it doesn't matter so much yes. where we've been as our, am I in a place mm -hmm. to assist the person? Mm -hmm. Not what my mom did to me when I was seven. We shall discover. We shall discover. <laughs> Let me see if this is, in fact, if I did, in fact, get you guys indemnified on this form. I was watching my own ass so well. 
Oh. Ah. Two I form. I love your honesty. <laughs> Thank you. Excuse me. I'm going to leave them here for you guys to look at at the end of our, our meeting because I'm, I'm going to say a couple words about what passed around. I don't like the formatting of it, but it does have the content I wanted. Can I ask you a question about the 15 uh, subjects? Can they be our family members that they might have problems with this? No, they, they, they cannot. You can't get a therapeutic alliance oh, with a family so member. You said not to use family members. No. Come back. Come back. I like what you were doing. All right. <laughs> now, don't, don't use your family members. Don't use your close friends. Uh, there might be an exception to the, the friends thing. I don't know, but I wouldn't. And I do want to talk now about getting clients. We have um, several places in the works. The medical director over here at Phoenix House is a dear friend of mine who's gotten me in there for clients before, practice clients. And he is supposed to give me the word tomorrow, because he comes on Tuesdays, he's their medical director, and put me together with the house manager who can make it all happen instantly. And if in fact that works out, we'll have something like 100 guys to choose from that are recycling every, I don't know, three months or whatever, so we'll have like, but it's all guys. Then we have something cooking with Claire Foundation. We have somebody, uh, who's supposed to get back to me, uh, who, has, who works at Claire, actually works at Claire, and came over to see me about getting us some patients. Again, <coughs> all guys. I, I think Claire Foundation probably has some place where they stash their women, I don't know. But I don't, I've never, I've, never, I've never known of it, but it seems to me strange that a foundation that large would only take male clients when there are the city has certainly its fair share of uh, women with the same problems. Um, and I have a couple of others working of lesser, you know, ease. Real problem with women. Oh, yeah, I have somebody who's going to halfway houses and, and maybe getting us some women. But uh, you guys are going to have to pitch in. I'll give you an illustration. Marvin, you go to fellowship? Still? Sometimes? Okay. Yeah. You can draw from there. There is no, there is, there is no prohibition. You're not going to charge them any money. And by the way, uh, just to discuss the legality of some things, um, the Five Gates is a step program, just like the twelve-step program at AA. And whenever you ask for an explanation, you just say it's it's a very modernized, more penetrating step program, and. Um, so as not to be confused, we, they didn't want to call it five steps, because then it sounded like you were getting cheated out of seven of them. <laughs> they, so they call them five gates, so that, that, but it's the same thing. It's a step program. So therefore, any human being has a right to practice a step program to help a friend. Okay? So you have that right. Also, everything that you're told and I've told you this before, I know at least one of the two classes before we merged, you cannot be compelled to say anything anyone has said to you in a court of law who was going through five gates with you or 12 steps, either one of them. It's been tested. It is the third rail of jurisprudence. You may not compel someone who is psychologically helping another person in a program um, disclose what they were told. Now, the one exception is if they're going to go kill somebody, you, you have a, an obligation. Or if a child's being hurt. Yeah, mandated reporter. Yeah. That's, right. that's, yeah. Imminent, yeah. That's, that's imminent, ongoing, or anticipated harm. You report that, too. But when it comes to, well, I off the guy. He was stealing my drugs. And I saw he had a gun, so I shot him. Guy tells you, I've had that happen. Um, you don't have, and you better tell him that he, you don't have to ever tell. And the next thing you know, he's got a problem with you knowing too much. So be careful. Um, but aren't you supposed to take notes after they leave so that if it ever does come up, you have this file on these people? Or? Only if you're a licensed practitioner. Oh. 
you're not a licensed practitioner, you don't have to. Besides, you got your digital recorder going. Yeah. That's better than that. I have been toying and really battling with the idea of giving the program away, which I have thought would actually be very helpful to all of you. However, I've been kind of talked out of it this morning, so let me just tell you the thinking behind this. None of you are going to get clients from Pittsburgh for a long time. None of you are going to get clients from London, England for a long time, unless you go live there. And yet, the internet makes it possible to put it out there, and nobody with money, I, I'm going to tell you straight out from my experience, I had about 350 clients, 95% of them paid me nothing. Nothing. They didn't have anything. I was busy developing the program. Oh, they bartered, they, they painted my apartment, they did all kinds of nice things, they frequently gave me gifts later. Three clients gave me more than $100,000 each when the only fee agreement was $5,000. And the rest of them all paid between $2,500 and $5,000. And I generally used to charge $5,000 when I stopped doing it. I've just doubled my rate this morning so to make it possible for me to say, you want one of you want one of our certified trainers to work with you. And you'll pay them. But what I uh, believe is that every one of those people that paid me, had they had a free option to take, to take what was said to be the same program somewhere else, would not have done it. Because they want to go where the center of learning for it is. They want to go with somebody, you know, you guys would be up there, you're well, on our uh, website if you want to be. They want to go where the people who have gotten their certification are, that have been proven to know how to do this, to do it reliably and well. They don't want to get Cousin Harvey who read it on the internet to start sharing all their secrets or some stranger they don't know. But what does it do? You know, I love that old saying, if you want to really have something, Set it free, <laughs> you know. I think it'll actually drum up a whole lot of business here because it'll get people reading and studying and getting involved and not just taking somebody's word for it, but getting it right from the horse's mouth, as they say. And what, what it will do is you'll have a million people out there marketing for you all over the world, maybe millions. All those people that I had to desperately find, like needles in haystacks, that could actually write me a check for five grand, will find themselves for you guys. That could be the reward, actually, to give them that free if they market X amount of people, or whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> Multi-level? Yeah, yeah, Multi-level? Multi -level. <laughs> okay, we now have mental health on the multi-level scale. <laughs> yeah. Now, here's what I would like you to do. Now, I was, I, I was told this morning, I know a number of you weren't real happy about my thinking about doing this, but this morning I kind of made a compromise idea, which I think is going to work, even though it's not what I would really do if, I, if, if you guys were not opposed to it. And, and you guys are important. You've made an investment, you've been learning, you have a, a right to have some, something to say about this. And at least I feel you do. I can post everything except the fifth gate. No. Everything except the fifth gate. After all, it's all in my books anyway. You have a question? Exactly. On our website, except, except for how to do the fifth gate. The fifth gate is, look, the philosophy is important and it's special. They're going to get that anyway, otherwise we're going to have to keep everything a secret. <laughs> that doesn't work. Uh, the questionnaire for the fourth gate, well, I'm thinking that one over. I haven't decided that one yet. Uh, the principles of the first three gates, oh, set them free. I think that the Let them impress people. Let them impress people that we don't have some kind of a, a jerky program here. But the fourth gate, let's say that's available. Yes. With, uh, the fifth All you have to do is buy a, a copy of the book, either of my two books. True, but did 
you know, but then someone's walking through that, and there's, it's almost like they're sent down the river unless they... In my opinion, and this is only an opinion, and your opinions are extremely important to me, so let me just express this opinion. The more involved they get, the more likely they'll open their wallet. The more, <laughs> the more they know... To have results from the program. The more they know, oh, you put a big disclaimer right on that internet, if you're breaking the seal and going in, first of all, we can even password lock things, but if, if, if you're going here, understand, we have listed here certified trainers who have gone through extremely good training for being able to do this professionally for you. Anybody's got some money is going to want a professional. They're not going to want to go to the A meeting. Hey, Charlie, come on, give me five. Would you please take me through my fifth gate? Oh, what's that? You know, that's not what's going to happen. And then you put something in there like, like you said, the... Um, Very strong disclaimer. disclaimer. If disclaimer you, if you tried to go through this program else. with someone who is not a fifth gate trainer, yes. a certified fifth gate trainer, it is very likely you will not get the full benefit of the program.